moose on the loose, showing up to the party. Got four or five dudes in the room, so we party. The moose go up to the DJ stand. Everybody stand up, they gon' clap their hands. We pull it. What it is, what it is, what it is, YouTube. You know who it is. It's your boy, the moose. Moose squad. Let's kick it. What it is. Okay. Oh, yeah. I want my MTV. Okay. So, anyways. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to. Just, just some I had to. Okay. So, I wanted to share this with you. Because a lot of things I didn't share the last time. So, now let's get into the remote access. Okay. So, now we're going to get into the remote. So, here. Let me show you. Um, okay. So, I have background music. Let me show you the background real quick. From playback. And as you can see, I got the background music selected. That's the music you're hearing now. Okay, so once you get the background music selected, we need to go in here to uh, to remote control. Once you go into remote control, you're going to press on the remote control. Now you got to means you got to activate the remote. You display the screen code right here, and then down here, it's going to act to connected user. When you Go in, you're going to click on this. You need to make sure that this is selected administrator and is slid on. Then you're going to push done. Now, let me show you what we got going. So then, I got the QR code. Of Let's, let's get out of the QR code. So I got the QR code button ready. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to scan the QR code. And as you can see, it goes up here. Now this is the Carafund 2 QR, the 284970. That's my number. So click on that number and then it shows up the Carafund 2. So then it's going to ask you the person's name. We're going to go ahead and F-R-E-D. And we're going to go ahead and push login. Okay. Now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to push in. Let's do Ice Baby. I C E. Ice Ice Baby. Click on it. Now we're going to go ahead and do this. Now, once the person is done there, we need to, on our part, come in here to select and go down to where it says remote control and come in and connect the user. And connect the user. And push done. It didn't collect. Because it didn't connect. So it didn't connect. So go down here. Click this. We're going to click administrator. And then we're going to click done. You have to make sure that's done. See now look. It says add to queue. Now we can add it to queue. Add to queue. Okay. We're going to click Fred. We're going to confirm. Now we added it to queue. Now it's added to queue. Let's check it out. So now when it's added to queue, let's go ahead and minim, uh, X on. Now, here is where we can set the key and tempo. So now there's the key part. Key. And then you have tempo on this side. Okay. Now what I need to do. Okay. So I have everything. I have the microphone. Okay. I have the Vanilla Ice Baby. I have it on the queue. As you see, it's on the queue. Okay, so when you're in the queue, like I was saying, let me show you. You can flip the key over and you can actually add the tempo. Usually when the song is before it's played, the, the client can change the key to the song. Maybe by two. Or you can even go down to negative one. Now I would have a client request the tempo be negative. Two. She would get negative two, and this is how the setup would be on the keys. Now, we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and push it at the regular key.
and the regular tempo. The regular key is zero, and the regular tempo is zero. So let me go ahead and flip this around, and I will show you how this works. Let me get you out of the stand, and let's get after it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. Now, this is all done by Bluetooth. It's all Bluetooth into the laptop. Now, all the music's going to go away once I push play. Okay. So once I push play, the music's going to go away and you'll kind of get the idea. So let's go ahead and push play. You flipper. Play is over here. I'm going to push play. Now listen to it. Okay, we got to turn it up. Because I can't hear it. There we go. Yo, VIP. Let's kick it. Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. I'll stop. Collaborate and listen. I sit back with a brand new invention, something cause it holds me tightly, flowing like a harpoon daily or nightly. I don't know. Turn off the lights and I glow to the extreme of my mock like a vandal. Light up the stage like a chump, like a candle. Dance, go rustic boom, skilling your brain like a poisonous mushroom, deadly. When I play a dope melody, anything less of the best is a felony. You get the point. So there you have it. You can you get the point. So you can change the keys, the tempos, you can change everything. And basically, as you can see, here it is. We're a laptop. And this is telling me that it's connected because it's white. Now I normally have a smaller one. I had to get this one. Because I've had this for a while and the other one went out. So I just replaced it with this until I can get my new um, iPad. And this one right here is for the five, is for the 512 BMX. And that's my microphone setup. And i got to find the microphones for Wednesday. But there you have it. So when you're using Carafun 2, there's a lot of options that you can use. The remote, like I'm going to say this, like I said earlier, the remote, the only purpose of using the remote is so that you can allow your client to sync with your iPad. Now remember, let me show you one more time so you understand this. That you actually have to turn the remote on by connected users. Use that connected user button. You click on it. And um, it says Fred. And we're going to go ahead and let Fred uh, play. No one has joined yet. Time to in invite your friends over. And you're going to click done. Now once the song is done, Fred is done. So just to let you know. So that's how basically it works. So they use this to do it, and you have to make sure that you connect them. Now you don't have to lose. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to use this necessarily. But once they pull in, and the next person's done singing, and as your list goes on and everything else, it makes it a lot easier and smoother to use. I technically like the laptop idea sometimes because it's a lot easier. But then I like this idea too because usually I have a book with me and they sign the book and what song they want to play and then they get an order of who sings. And they what I do is when they put their name down on the sheet of paper, I'll show you that later. When they put their name down on the sheet of paper, I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they put their names there. And then when the seventh person sings, it rotates back to the first person. So that's how I usually do karaoke. So I hope this helps. Um, <laughs> sorry. I hope this helps. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and ring that bell for my notifications for videos like this and count the others. Smash that like button. Check out these videos at the end of this video. And peace out.
Subscribe! Caring is sharing. I like it. Comment! It moves on and moves and moves on and moves. It'll be party all day long. It moves on and moves and moves on and moves. What are you waiting for?